We are doing uh, brakes on a 2010 Audi A4. Uh, Alright, take off first of all, jack up the car. Make sure you got the wheel turned all the way like this. Take off the tire. Alright, tire's off. Next step, the two bolts. Okay, tires off. We gotta take the bolts off. And there's one here and one on the bottom. You gotta use a breaker bar. This is the tool you're gonna use here. This is uh let's see here. 21 millimeter. And you can put that on the back and bust them loose. Alright, I'm just going to show you a couple things here. So I took the um, caliper off and I'm just laying it here on my jack stand. So the, this pad comes right out, no problem. Um, Oh yeah, I still got this uh, this thing attached here. That's the sensor. Okay, so it just kind of stuck in there like that. So you just gotta pay attention. I'm really surprised this one didn't uh, with these pads this thin. It never sensed, but uh, I guess it wasn't quite there yet. That one. Now this one here, you got to take this clip off. Okay, there's a clip. So what you got to do is you got to press down here on the middle part, and you kind of got to use a seat clamp to do it or something because it's hard to do. And then it just comes off. And then this pad here is original, so it was glued. It's kind of like glued on here, so you have to stick a screwdriver here and pry it off. And that's what you have to do. Oh, I just have to say that this one was really hard to get off. I had to use a C-clamp and pry it off. It was totally glued on there. And this is from the factory. Alright, now the fun part. Uh, first you gotta take off uh, this little it's barely tight. There's a screw. Now, if you don't have a, uh, a Torx, uh, there's one that comes in the uh, in in the spare tire, and that works fine too. Now, we got to get this rotor off, so we get some PB blaster, penetrating oil, go around there, go in the holes. And then you gotta let that sit. I'll put a little on the back side too while I'm at it. And then we'll uh, hammer it with the uh, rubber mallet. Oh, this one came off real easy. All I did was hit it on this side, and it uh, it came right off. And my other my other one, I was hitting it and hitting it and hitting it, and it didn't come off. So there you go. Now it's off. Now we just clean this up and uh, reinstall and it should be good to go. And just take a wire brush around here. I put a little anti-seize on there and then uh, we'll be good we'll be good to go. What I want to show you right now is the old 
disc um, rotor versus the new ones. Now these new ones are from AutoZone and they're $33 each, $34, something like that. And they look identical to the old one. I'll just show you what's going on here. So here's the old one. This is brand, this is this was the factory rotor uh, from Audi. This is, this is the first time I've changed the brakes on this car. And the one from uh, the one from AutoZone is exactly the same. If you look at them side by side, there's there's no difference in uh, circumference, um, no difference in the width. Uh, measure them if you look at it on the inside. Exactly the same. No difference at all. Uh, these are made in China, $33. These are made, I have nowhere, no idea where, they're $125. I'm using the $33 ones. You can make your own choice. When you get the brake rotors, they have grease on them. So when you take, them, take the wrap off, um, they're greasy a little bit. So, do is get your brake cleaner and spray them off. And wipe them down. Do that on both sides. Okay, um, everything's back together and I'm just going to show you this sensor here. Clips in. There you go. Right to the brake pad. Just clips in there. They can route it back through. That thing. Connect it up there. Everything should be good. And then you just got to put the, this uh, other clip on the outside. I'll get you a picture of that. Alright, last step was to put this clip on right here. You just place it here, push down really, really hard, and it'll go in there. And that adjusts the uh, outboard brake pad. So everything's on there now, and it should be good.